Hi guys, this is James from Squid Gaming bringing you another Portal 2 Authoring Tools tutorial. Uh, this one is on respawning cubes in the dropper, so when you press the button again you'll get a new cube. Um, I probably should have included this in the previous tutorial but didn't know how to do it. So here it is. Um, start with three entities. First one being the cube, so prop weighted cube, and give that the name cube, or and maybe a number after it if you have multiple. Oops. Uh, this one you want it to be type in template, and you want point underscore template, and in template one type in the name of your cube and give it the name cube template and the third one you want to type in maker and select the env underscore entity underscore maker and hit apply give that the name cube maker and the point template to spawn type in your cube template name and now put all of those inside the uh, dropper not touching the sides put the cube in first and then put those two entities inside the cube like so. If they're not inside the cube it will not work and it can do some very insane things um, instead which are not pretty. So now you just need to go down to your button. Of course if you don't have the dropper and button already set up you need to go to my cube and gel tutorial and follow that tutorial the cube half of it and then you'll be able to do this. If you haven't done that already, you need to. So just hop on to the outputs of this and um, first uh, we need two outputs, both on pressed. And the first one we want the cube uh, to dissolve at no delay. And then on pressed again, we want the cube maker to force spawn. And we want to give this one a delay of 0 0.05 seconds. Otherwise, they both run at exactly the same time, which can be, it's not always consistent, and sometimes it dissolves inside the dropper. So now we have that we'll just run and compile the map and see what it looks like. Okay so back in the map here's our button press it once cube falls out that happened before press it again it dissolves and a new one falls out so that happens every time because of the extreme wastefulness of aperture science but that's okay because they have mountains full of these oh that's my turrets that's trippy okay so yep yeah, cube comes out it's fully operational press it dissolves door closes you know all that stuff it's a working dissolving cube so that's how you make respawning cubes in Portal 2. I uh, hope you learned something and see you next time. This is James from Squid Gaming.